Hey, good Tuesday morning, everyone. Jess is on a shoot, but I've got one of my favorite guys in the whole wide world with me today. Welcome, Lawrence. I am so Ooh, happy to be here. It's so happy to have you here. Well, I didn't think I was going to make it here. Um, is that because you are now the proud father of a cute puppy? Can I tell you, I finally put the bit the bullet and. I adopted a dog. So let me be the first to introduce you, Danny, <laughs> and our California Live family with Carmichael Zarian. <laughs> uh, today is day number six. He's a foster dog, and literally day number two, I was like, you know what? I love him. Look at his okay, face. Okay, Lawrence, you look like your dog. How is that possible? Well, you, you, you know, they say that you don't find a dog, the dog finds you, and Carmichael found me, and oh. I have never experienced love like this before in my life, but yeah. I also am exhausted. <laughs> I'm tired, and I'm stressed beyond belief, well, and, and so stressed. Yeah. Then I need a little help, and I hear that mm. goats actually help relieve stress. Goats? What are you talking about? I know, I know, you, th I know you think it's bad, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> There's a whole new craze where goats actually help relieve stress. Ah, I know what you're talking about now. You're talking about goat yoga. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. uh, I've never tried it. But our Layla is about to jump in. As we say it together, Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> hey, Layla. Oh, we're definitely doing some Namaste today. Lawrence, I got something for that stress relief. So I'm here at Laughing Frog Yoga in Santa Monica. And as you can see, the goats are already in action. Gizmo and Doc are the stars today. They will hop on your back, give you a little massage. You see? <laughs> I'm going to head over here now to Farmita. She's with Laughing Frog Yoga. I'm going to sit right here next to you as you're, you're getting the group all warmed up. <laughs> what is it with this goat yoga craze? Well, there's so many benefits to goat yoga that we didn't even know until Scout introduced it to us. Number one being laughter. Mm -hmm. So laughter and lightheartedness. There's just something really special about taking a very spiritual, deep, physical practice and matching it with nature and these animals that we're not necessarily used to being around. So it creates a very fun, exciting, unique um, environment that everybody just enjoys. So that's number one. Number two is the goat massage. After getting a goat massage, they just know your pressure points, they know where your tension is, and we do very goat-friendly poses so they can end up on your back and give you those massages. You will probably fire your massage therapist because they're that good. Then, if you can just imagine doing a regular yoga class, the planks, the bows, all of that stuff, how much more fun is it with a goat on your back? Because it stimulates your core strength and it's just more exciting because you get to be more present and mindful in the moment. So instead of having your mind wander and you're worrying about how long you're counting it, it's just so much more fun and exciting and more challenging with a goat on your back. I'm gonna try it in just a second. I'm gonna <laughs> head over now to Scout Rasking with Party Goats LA because these are her goats, Doc and Gizmo. Okay. These are not just any old goats. These are special goats. Why are they so important for, for goat yoga? Well, uh, these are Nigerian dwarf goats, mm -hmm. and that's a goat breed that originated in Africa. They're a miniature goat, so they, they're going to top out around 35 pounds. They're about 20 now, and they're seven months old. Um, so in that way, and then also because uh, Nigerian dwarf goats are known for having a really great temperament with people. They're known for being really friendly and really sweet. And Doc and Gizmo aren't just any old goats, you guys. They are booked and busy. They know a lot of celebrities. Who do they know? Uh, let's see. Uh, we recently met Christina Milian, Gina Torres, Katie Sackhoff, Ashley Green. We've been <laughs> on the Steve Harvey Show and Access Hollywood. Um, so we're around, but you know, we also cater to the public as well. So celebrities or regular people, we, we like spreading the joy of goats. I'm about to experience this joy. Let me hop in here too and get a couple of poses in. All right. Who's coming to hang out with me? We're going to have Gizmo. Come on, Gizmo. Oh, uh oh, yeah, right there, Gizmo. I got a little tension in my arm to the right. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. So this is really good. Seriously, you guys, it's really good for <laughs> if you're having uh, some, some issues on, on your shoulder or back because it, it actually feels really good. Uh, so, you know, Lawrence mentioned that he needed a little stress relief. Lawrence, I want to invite you to come hang out. We are at Laughing Frog Yoga. Make sure you check them out on social media as well. And Party Goats LA, thank you for bringing Doc and Gizmo to party with us this morning. How you feeling over there, Paul? Stretched. Real stretch. I'm terrified. I have, okay, I have never talk. seen anything like that before in my life. Layla, please tell the goats that daddy's uh, coming to town. Daddy's coming to town, I'm told to tell you goats. Daddy's coming to town. Oh, my God. Okay. I'd be terrified that, so that they might go to the bathroom on me or something like that. I don't know. That's just well, maybe on you, but yeah. never on me. 
<laughs> Thank you, Layla. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. But hold on, I don't have a goat, okay. but I have something else for you. Okay. I have I love, something you know else. me, yeah. I love a good gift. Oh, okay, here. what did you get me? It's not a goat, but what here, is it? Close your eyes, reopen them. There you go. Okay, you bought me a unicorn. I got you a unicorn. Okay, I could say so many things right now. Oh, look, there's a <laughs> rainbow. Okay, you bought me you bought me a unicorn. Hold yeah. on, hold on to my unicorn. Okay, hold I'm on. holding on to the unicorn. And I got you a gift, too. Not a goat, but a dinosaur. Are you calling me old? Uh, I, I'm just saying, you know what? We have um, little stuffed animals, a gift for you, a gift for me. 